Dear Chairman of the conference, dear colleagues and friends, first of all, let me begin by thanking you for giving us the opportunity to share the results of our scientific research on the topic bilingual education as a means of improving future natural sciences teachers' quality of education. We present Ternopil Volodymyr Hnatyuk National Pedagogical University, which is one of the oldest higher education institutions in Western Ukraine and which greatly supports the current channel of trend towards integration into the European space and the desire for intercultural dialogue and intercultural communication. It naturally actualizes the need for research of bilingual training. That is why our goal was to develop the content of the elective course, Science Teachers Training in US Universities which is taught in English as a means of bilingual education of future natural sciences teachers and to substantiate its effectiveness experimentally. The methodology of our experimental research comprised four stages. During the preparatory stage, we carried out the analysis of literature sources. We also developed the structure of the course Science Teachers Training in US Universities. As you can see in this slide, the course contains nine credit hours in total, out of which 60 hours are assigned for independent work, 20 for practical courses, and 10 for lectures. Taking into consideration the results of numerous scientific researches and our own experience of conducting classes, we came to the conclusion that bilingual education is a variety of models and programs united by a single principle. Two languages are used as a means of teaching. This slide shows common models of bilingual education. We have singled out a displacing model where foreign language dominates in the disclosure of the course content as the most suitable for our course. During the second stage of our research, we determined the content of the course using the method of expert assessment. This slide presents some of the topics which were offered for expert assessment that was carried out using an integrated criterion of didactic quality. In table one, you can see the indicators of this criterion and their weight. Having conducted the research, we determined the content of the experimental course. Ranking all the assessed topics according to the integrated criteria, we have identified five most actual topics for discussion at the lectures. Namely, the first one is formation of the future natural science teacher's professionalism and his professional and methodological competence. The second one, Normative sources of constructing the content of natural sciences teachers training in the USA. The next one, content, forms, and methods of natural sciences teachers professional training for the beginning of pedagogical activities. The fourth one, concept of monitoring, the essence and criteria of monitoring of education in US universities. And the last one, peculiarities of organization of future natural sciences teachers professional training in the USA and in Ukraine. To develop the methodology of this content implementation, we conducted the summative experimental research with the aim to find out the most effective techniques, methods, and technologies of this content implementation. The results of the survey are presented in this slide and they are the basis of our experimental methodology. During the next stage of our research, we determined the effectiveness of the study of the course according to the following criteria, the level of formation of mental activity techniques and development of speech activities. The first criterion is interpreted by us as an integrated indicator of the formation of the ability to analyze, compare, draw conclusions from the known theoretical information and practical activities. The second criterion was determined on the basis of the reflection of the level of students' own achievements in mastering four main types of 
speech activity, reading and reading comprehension, listening and listening comprehension, speaking and writing. The results of students' reflection on the increasing of their professional achievements showed that their foreign language competence improved. The best results are concerned with such type of speech activity as speaking. Thus, in the students' opinion, 80% of them began to speak English much better. 16% partially improved this type of speech activity, and only 4% didn't show any changes in speaking English, but all of them praise the results of mastering the course. Hence, the results of experimental research proved the expediency of learning the course science teachers training in US universities, which is an effective means of implementation of bilingual education. Its inclusion in the curriculum for future natural sciences teachers training <coughs> helps to attract students to the world culture through the foreign language, which serves as a means of learning the world, acquisition of special knowledge, learning cultural, historical, and social experience of different countries and peoples, which broadens the possibilities of future specialist adaptation in various social, informational, and scientific realities of nowadays, and improves the quality of intercultural communication, the importance of which is growing in a globalized world. That, ladies and gentlemen, was what we wanted to share with you. Thank you.